so I've been asked a lot to kind of film around City Belastin, so that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to be here forever, so um, I did want to show you. There was, as you can see here, amazing trees, but they've obviously since then um, cut them down. We did have a huge storm the other week, um, which was quite, um, I think it was 40 mile an hour winds. So I'm just going to show you pan around here. There usually is swans um, and ducks and things like that, but they do, we are going to follow this river through. I'll just show you up here. This is the way I walk. So I follow along right up here and then there's a train um, station to the left. So we will kind of go along and I'll show you as we go along. So apologies for the traffic in the background. Uh, I will try to zoom in here, but I will list below the name of this house. Um, beautiful grounds here. Um, the tourists are always here, obviously not at the moment. Um, again, it will be listed above somewhere with the name of the house itself. Um, but it's beautiful. Probably my camera doesn't do it justice. I can only get in so far. Um, but really, really nice. I just thought this would be a really good idea to do um, before September. I have to say COVID has made me kind of realise the importance of exercise and being outside. And um, I really want to show you guys around the best areas that I go to, um, particularly for exercise and things like that. Um, and just to kind of was to kick, kick start my healthy eating and things like that. So what we're going to do is I'm just coming up to the train station. Um, and what I'll do is we'll kind of pan around beautiful canals and boats. Um, and then we'll go through kind of the walk that I'd usually do. So we're just here at Lower Hayford, just across the road. This is Lower Hayford Station, train station. Takes you into Oxford. Um, I am going to forward pan in a moment. Um, I don't take the train here, but it's a really good kind of circle to the house and back. Um, I've got my mask in case I need to go into the shop because we're all being very obviously um, aware um, with masks and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pan around for you and um, we will take a look at the station. I'll show you kind of the boats. So here we are, we're just at the train station now. I'm about to go up the steps with you. Just going up the steps now. You can see just across the way, you can see just the um, tracks and we're just going across. You'll see the canal in a moment. So I just pan across here. We're lucky with the weather today, so that's why I decided. Two days, two days ago it was Storm Ellen, so when I woke up this morning and it was like this, I decided to go out. So if we just pan across here, you can see the beginning. We will go closer. I show you. So this is where I am going to walk along. Um, very, very nice, nice area. And we'll go through it together. On my way down now, and the steps are just here. And then I'm going to pan around for you. To walk along the canal, you will see a lot of boats as we go ahead. It's a really popular area for walking. do this as much as I can really weather dependent obviously and also you do have to be it's extremely narrow if you can see from behind so you have to be very careful with distancing and everything and um, when we're when there's people walking going up and back in the same in different directions but you're still quite close to each other so we do have to be careful in terms of that um, in saying that there's dog walkers coming now so um, I shall come back in a moment before we get into the field with the lake um, sorry, the river, it follows on. i just give you kind of a view of what it looks like throughout as it walk through. So I just turn around there. That's where we've just come from. And we're going to go ahead now into the field. But it just gives you kind of an idea, the walkway through. Um, and I'll show you in a moment where we get to record this just before we get into the field. This is my absolute favourite house, their garden, everything is gorgeous. They own the boat too. I've spoken to them once or twice as I've been, as I've been walking by. Um, it's just beautiful. They have a little bird house if you can see there at the front it's like one of my all-time <laughs> absolute all-time favorites I know you can't see the house from here but their garden is just beautiful as you can see okay we'll finally go on to the um, field this is my favorite, favorite part of the walk you can see that the river we've saw in the very beginning has this is where it comes through there's like a bridge um, in the summer all the children were here in Steve Elastin with their parents swimming it's really nice and um, there was a family of swans that have now gotten but it was just a beautiful, beautiful place if I just show you here so that's where the children would get in from where you can see the tree and they could swim there quite happily throughout the day so as you can see then there's the field we're going to be going into will be on the right here so I'll just show you slightly so I will bring you to the um, 
the other side. The waterfall, if you can barely see it, it's quite overgrown um, with the leaves there. If I try to zoom you in, you can just about see the effect it's having on the water there. Again, this is somewhere, this is just the exact opposite where we've just been. You can see the wind is definitely getting um, stronger. In that field, they, um, there's usually um, llamas, we might see them. There's a farm there and they have llamas. And they may not be in the field today, but it's definitely, you know, a beautiful place that I will definitely miss. Um, so this is kind of the walkway we go through. Um, lots of people go through here during the summer, families, things like that, so it's always busy. But today, I think, um, for some reason, it's quite empty. So I thought it would be a good time um, to show you. So as I said, this is my favourite place. The wind is definitely, definitely getting up, so I'm hoping I make home before it gets too crazy. As you can see, in the background, um, a tree has fallen down overnight. So that's interesting. And again, you can see the wind is getting quite strong. I'm looking ahead and there's two more trees that have come down. So I will let you know. <laughs> Hopefully I make it through, I'm sure I will. Um, but I will um, continue on to the next part of the video. I'm out of there and I have just walked over the trees that have broken down. Um, it probably does sound windier than it actually is. It was a moment ago. Um, but now I kind of go through um, woodland and then it goes through to the field before I'm back to the house again. So it does do like a whole circle really. And it usually takes usually about an hour. So I'm trying to kind of, there we go, the wind again. I'm trying to kind of um, not fill in bits and pieces so it's not too long for you. But um, yes, again, Steve Aston is beautiful. But as I was saying in my previous video, I think if you want to kind of have a social life and, you know, I used to be very into Pilates and just seeing my friends and everything, I think Killington is definitely the place I'll be. But I definitely didn't want to leave, even though it's not till September, I didn't want to leave without showing you guys kind of where I've been. I'm about to walk through over the bridge and um, there's trains underneath, there's no trains coming at the minute. Um, and then I'll show you kind of the final um, moments of the walk. You can see the wind has really done some damage over here. Um, it has been quite windy the last few days. I think Ireland got the, the real bad part of Storm Ellen, but we definitely in the UK here did definitely get our fair share of it too. So what I'll do is I'll walk across and we'll show you kind of the entrance back into Steeple Aston. So I hope you're enjoying guys. We're coming up towards the end of the video. There'll still be a, few, a little bit more footage, but um, just wanted to show you a little bit about where I go in terms of exercise and things like that. I realise a lot of my content is indoors um, and I will be making a conscious effort. Um, the wind is getting heavier. I feel like I'm in one of those bad journalist movies where there's bloopers where they just fly off into the air, which feels like I'm going to happen right now. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a couple more scenes and then we'll go right into Steep Last. And I do hope you enjoyed. I try to keep it as short as possible. The walk itself actually <laughs> takes about an hour and a half. Um, so yes, what I'll do is just stop it now and we'll kind of go through the last few scenes. So I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a view of, as we come kind of into the village, that we've passed by the farm. So there's always little animals to greet us, but this is a calf. It probably looks a lot bigger on screen, but it is a calf and its mum is over to the side there. Um, the last field until we get into Steeple Aston village and I'll show you we have one little one little kind of news agents and they're very very sweet people um, an Indian couple they've been here for years and um, very sweet um, everybody around here really knows each other and I think that's something that was really um, calming when I came here um, you know um, especially kind of everything that I've been through um, and it is going to be missed but I know for sure that if I don't make a change um, I want children, I want so much um, that if I don't do it myself, you know, and I don't wake up to kind of, you know, not that I have weaknesses, I'm sure I do have weaknesses, but um, if I don't really go out there and get what I want and at least try, I don't really have anyone to blame but me. So yes, the next little section is going to be the actual news agents. They're very sweet. I won't go in. I've got my my uh, mask here ready to go. Um, they 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 found out today that I'm leaving. So that's how small the community is. Um, you know, it's a big deal now that I'm moving back to Killington. <laughs> when I changed jobs, it was a big deal. But I think it's really sweet. It's kind of got, I had. It was definitely something I had to get used to. You know, everybody knowing everyone's business. But um, I've been going back to Killington. Um, for me, for my goals, for what I want is definitely. Um, 
It's definitely something I want to do. Um, and the next stage will hopefully be seeing my mum, who I haven't seen since December. I was supposed to go over for my birthday and then for her birthday. Mine's in April, hers in August, um, but that didn't really pan out. Um, so yes, I'll show you the news agents um, and we will, um, I'll show you then and then we'll kind of come to the end of the video. Okay, so we're back and we're about to just come around paint hill now and I'll show you the news agents. View of the news agents just for their own privacy, but that's it and that's where we would go. Anywhere in the village, whoever needs to go um, can go there. That's the, kind of the only shop. 